Hello everyone, so I have to make this video yet again, but it's not about Onision, it's about Shane Dawson, about the whole drama. You, you probably don't know what's going on, and hell, I don't even know what's going on. But, what I do know is Tati Westbrook, that old fucking cunt, is throwing yet another YouTuber who is way more famous than she is under the bus for views. <laughs> I'm tired of this. I'm tired of seeing this. I'm tired of this stupid fucking cunt. <sighs> she probably thought in bed last night. Oh, my pussy's dry, so let me just fucking try to wet it by... Hey, did you ever put my hook for But anyway, I do apologize. That was my cousin asking me a question. But anyways, I'm just tired of seeing Tati Westbrook, who is least famous than Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star and James Charles combined. So what does she do to drive up her fame? Oh, I know. Let's talk about other YouTubers. Because my shit doesn't stink. She wants to talk about these horrifying YouTubers doing horrifying things whenever she wants to Slander people and all kinds of shit. I mean, yeah. Shane Dawson. Yeah, he did make some... He did make some jokes. That I personally find to be funny. But... Nobody should be punished because they told a fucking joke. You know? What Tati is doing to Shane Dawson... Is what Tati is doing, is what Tati did to James Charles. And I hope she doesn't go after Jeffree Star. I mean, good luck with that, but. But a little message to Jeffree Star. I am a little disappointed. I am very disappointed. I mean, how can you let somebody you know is so vile and so toxic and so rancid destroy who you have called your best friend I am a big fan of you but I'm not a big fan of these actions sir not a fan at all I mean hell Jeffree Star's made some some, some jokes you know I mean I'm not mad I don't fucking care. I personally do not care. Now, the only problem I have is whenever jokes turn into actions. Because, like, for example, I'm gay, right? I'm gay. Everyone knows that. Anyone can make a homophobic joke, you know. Anyone can make a how do you make a how do you make three gay men sit on one bar stool, tip the bar stool upside down. I make those jokes. I don't give a fuck. But the minute you start rounding up gay people to kill them off, that's whenever I have an issue. Now Shane Dawson made some racist jokes. Shane Dawson made some anti-Semitic jokes. But come on. You know? I doubt, I seriously doubt that he is doing any harm to anyone. As long as you are not doing physical harm, what's it to you? 
And that's what I hate about this new canceled culture. Somebody tells a joke, they're fucking done. <laughs> I can't stand that. And anti-O is even worse, but that's a whole other can of worms. It's It just angers me. For the reason as to why Shane Dawson is currently under the fire is completely fucking stupid, in my opinion. And Jeffrey Star, where are you defending him? I mean, you said in your own word you believe in him. I mean, you said it in your voice memo. He's the fucking king. I am a big fan of you. I listen to you since MySpace. But... I don't know. It just angers me that he has to... He, a nice, a very nice person, with all due respect to all these evil people who are trying to destroy his career. I don't know. I don't know. It just angers me that he has to go through all this. Yet again. <laughs> Yet again. He makes some fucked up, twisted jokes. I mean, personally, I have a dark sense of humor. I have a dark sense of humor. But that ain't gonna stop me from telling jokes. And you don't have to be a comedian to tell a joke. I mean, come on. I mean, if Daniel Tosh was immersed in cancel culture, he wouldn't have a career right now. He's told thousands of jokes. But yet, a YouTuber tells one joke. Many jokes. Makes a bunch of racist, stereotype characters. I mean, Shanene, I have to defend that. You saying that all black people are ghetto is racist. Because there are tons of minorities. Hell, even white people that were raised in the ghetto. That is racist. In itself. So the Shanene character... Well, I mean, yeah, it's just a character. But... Don't be mad at it. Unfortunately, we don't live in the time where making comedy sketches in modern day YouTube is unacceptable. I mean, hell, Brandon Rogers. Nobody's mad at him. Nobody's canceled him. But, oh, he's a comedian, so it's fine. That's absolutely ridiculous. I am very disappointed. I hate this new, oh, you hurt my feelings, you're canceled, fe fucking culture. If I hurt your feelings, then move on. I don't know you. I don't know. The minute this stops is the minute that I'm happy. And I'm very disappointed in this new, I'm offended, you're canceled culture. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. It's one thing to act racist. It's one thing to tell a racist joke. And let me tell you, I don't think he's racist. I don't think he has a racist bone in his body. Doesn't make any sense to me. Well, I'm sure I'm going to be making a part two of this, defending myself yet again. But, If you don't like it, you don't like it. These are my opinions. Again, these are my opinions. I mean, when does it stop being okay to have opinions? If we all had the same opinions, we'd be living in North Korea right now. But I have to go. If I get hate, I get hate. But just leave him alone. I'm Jeffrey Star, defend him. I'm very disappointed. You can call me ugly, you can call me this or that, but please defend Jeffree Star. Please defend Jane Dawson. I'm, I'm very disappointed in 
just this entire situation. It's absolutely ridiculous how canceled culture is so fucking... The minute they're triggered is the minute your career is over. It's fucking stupid. Uh, I had to go. It's been ten minutes too long. Goodbye.